All right, Shalom, brothers. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and the glory to the Heavenly Father, which is named Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Harakah Kodash. All right, it's Brother Yahweh Shai Zion, just coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son. So, just got a quick lesson, you know, to get you brothers in the spirit, you know, to understand, you know, <clears throat> in these times that we're living in now, man, there's nowhere else to go, you know. There's nowhere else to go but this word, man. You know, this is this living water, man. You know, so again, man, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> you know, and you know, all you brothers, Shalom, across the four corners, man. May the Lord bless you and increase you who are laboring for this truth. All who are sincere. Okay. So let's get it, man. This is uh let me see here. Go to Alright, John 6 and verse number 54. Let's get 54. Let's lock you. Verse 53. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Okay, now, let me stop right there, man. So what, how would you interpret that? You know, a spiritual man judges all things. Now, clearly that wouldn't make any sense to actually do that to him. To actually eat him physically and drink his blood. Okay. He was talking about the total sacrifice that he was going to provide to believe in his sacrifice. That he was going to have to spill his blood. And that the word of the Lord being Yahweh Shai, you'd have to digest that word and actually embrace what he was saying in his teachings and believe in him and have faith in him. Okay? And then you will have life eternal, eternal life. Okay? And he will raise you up at the last day. That's what he said. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. That's exactly what that means, brothers. Now, for anybody that doesn't understand, now you should understand. If you digest this word and have faith in the sacrifice of his spilt blood, okay, okay, being the once and only sacrifice for the nation of Israel, you could reference Hebrews the 10th chapter for that, brothers. Hebrews the 10th chapter tells you that, you know, he is, he is that ultimate sacrifice once and for all of Israel. Because the day of atonement is all about that. It's all about the sacrifice for sins. Now, we don't no longer have to do that, man. We don't no longer have to use animals to sacrifice for sins. Okay? And what, that, what, that, what does that mean, a sacrifice? That means that normally we, we would come up off of the livestock, but we would actually, because of our sins, we'd have to sacrifice some of the livestock, you know, as a punishment for what we did wrong, going off against the law. Okay? But no longer, did, that's not, that didn't make the Lord happy to kill animals like that, man. You see, just because you were going off. That's madness, okay? So ultimately, the new covenant, Hebrews 8 and 8, and Jeremiah 31 and 31, says that the law is going to be written in our inward parts, and we're never going to go off again. So we are not in the new covenant yet, because we shall no longer teach our neighbor that's according to Hebrews 8 and 8 on down. And what am I doing right now? I'm teaching, brothers, man. Teaching you to have faith. Teaching you to pray to the Heavenly Father. Teaching you to pray three times a day. Morning, noon, and night. Around the ninth hour. Okay. Uh, which would be 3 p.m. Eastern time. And this current time in November. All right. At the, in, on the East Coast. And really anywhere. 3 p.m. your time is the ninth hour, man. All right, but getting into this, brothers, you know, that's what it's important that Yahweh Shai is in the embodiment of a sacrifice for our sins. And through faith, like I said, and through belief in presenting now, what we do is we present our bodies a living sacrifice, Romans 12 and 1 and 2, which is our reasonable service. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice because, look, we're no longer under that sacrificial law right okay and the law of sin and death guess what 
nobody's here putting us to death for, for the sins besides the Heavenly Father if it's that severe. But Israel's been scattered. And you can't keep the law, statutes, and commandments like that, but you do it to the best of your abilities, man. Okay? If you follow me, if you understand. So we still have to strive to keep the law, man. Rehearse the righteous acts until the Lord comes back and present your bodies as a living sacrifice. We'll be preaching the word of the Lord, going on a fast, okay? Giving to brothers, having fervent charity amongst yourselves, which is important. Because that, that would be like a sacrifice. You're sacrificing yourself, your own, your own, you know, you're laying your life down for your friends. Greater love hath no man than this, than he that lay his life down for his friends. And what did Yahweh Shai do? He laid down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command of you, the Lord said, man. Okay? So let me keep going, man, because I've been rambling on. Just getting spirit, you know, <laughs> getting hyped up in spirit, man. Real hyped up. But anyway, let's get it. Uh, verse number 55. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Let's go to that meat. You know, there's a lot of guys read this, and they need to know. Okay. Of the soul's food, either which refreshes the soul or nourishes and supports it. Yeah, the soul is what? That Greek word, I believe, psyche, man, which means your mind. Is meat. It's satisfying to your soul. So his his word, he's saying, the word of the Lord and everything the Lord represents is satisfying to your soul, man. As he said, take my yoke upon, uh, I believe he said, cast your yoke upon me for my burden is light. Or take my yoke upon you for my burden is light. Forgot how it go. Okay. Learn of me. You know, he said, man. And that's satisfying to your soul. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. You know, that living water. Now you, will, you will never thirst again, man. Because you're Why? Because you're going to be satisfied. Okay? It refreshes the soul, nourishes and supports the soul. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about the act of eating. We clearly have just established that. Okay? So again, man, for my flesh is nourishing to the soul indeed. That's what he's saying, verse 5. And my blood is drink indeed. Now again, satisfying to your soul. Verse 56. He that eateth my flesh, which again is to embody the teachings of the Lord, and follow the Heavenly Father's Son, and drinketh my blood, once again, same, same difference, dwelleth in me and I in him. Like he said, man, ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. And he'll have love for you, man. John 14 and 15. John 15 and 14. Write them down. You know, let's get it. Let's go, champ. All right. Verse 57. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. And that's exactly that. What is He's the word of the Lord. Is he not called the word of the Lord? John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, man. There you go. He had a name written on his thigh. It was the word of the Lord, man. The word of God, man. That's what he is. Okay, verse 58. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever again. Like I said, you live by the word of the Lord and believe in Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, you're going to live forever. Is that not what you seek? Is that not what you seek is to be satisfied? The human body constantly is breaking down and needs to be refreshed. This guy was talking to Brother Malak last night, man. He was talking about the word restaurant, you know, to restore. To restore your body. And that's what the restaurant stems back from, you know, to, to restore. Restore your mind, restore your body, make sure you're satisfied. You know, even breakfast, the word breakfast, you break your fast. You know, stop, you know, you have to replenish your body with nutrients and nourishment, man. And brothers need this word, man. You brothers need this word, man. You need this encouragement, man. I know you do, man. Every day. That's why you got to pray. 
You know, you have the choice to make when you, you know, should I pray right now or should I just worry right now? Well, what do you think, man? You should meditate in prayer. And if you brothers meditated in prayer, man, you'd be all set. You wouldn't have to worry about nothing, man. You're not meditating enough. You're not living by the Heavenly Father. Anyway, uh, verse 58. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Oh, Kisalakia, verse 59. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? Yeah, because they were carnal. They couldn't understand what he was saying. They weren't spiritual men. Those guys who, you know, were offended. When Yahweh Shai knew in himself <clears throat> that, this, that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So he just broke it down right there, man. He just told you, man. If you live forever, and he's talking about the bread, he is that bread that came down, all right, in the water, in the blood. And that's just talking about the Lord and his word and his teachings, man. If you live by the Lord, you have faith in the Lord and believe and you follow his teachings, you're going to live forever, man. Bottom line, all right? Simply put, man. Yeah, so it says, uh, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not, for Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning 